but yeah, totally. it's worth it because otherwise that little guy in your classroom feels like a failure for a year unfair okay so what's yeah. what's something else that your child's sorry your child's what's something else that a mum or a dad who's watching this their kids for their kids um who would have say autism what does their teacher need to know about how to help their own child william what do you wish your teachers had understood yeah um well i think i think the other thing was it went like going back to that first question of what was different about me to the person sitting next to me yeah um as a young person with autism i tended to get really obsessed with specific things um so while the person next to me was sitting writing with a pen i had cut out a harry potter feather quill and sticky taped it to my pen and i was sitting there humming the harry potter tune as i was writing doing it in like wiggly cursive because that's how harry potter wrote um so <laughs> i think it's just that acknowledgement that um that a lot of young people with autism get really attached to specific characters media or niche interests um and I, so I worked as a chaplain for a little bit and I had a young person in aut with autism in the um, kindy, in the kindy room. I think he would, I, I, it was a small country school. So they, they had um, like a few years, I think they were in year one or two. But what that teacher did that was really clever is that young person was really into Sonic. So Sonic whenever the he, hedgehog? Sonic the Hedgehog. Got it. <laughs> and so whenever um, they had to do a project, she would theme that project after Sonic. How good is that? Yeah. And so 